Yo, 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 what's up guys, what's good? Gorilla Bear Tech GBT is back to you guys again with another product review. And this is the follow-up to the unboxing of the Nintendo 2DS that you see in front of you right now. And the color is electric blue, they call it electric blue, and you have uh, three different color options from what I know. You got the black Nintendo 2DS, I don't know what it's called as far as the color, you know, they got names for the colors. And then they got the... Uh, the red one, I believe, and then they got the blue one. Now, this one's actually red. It's the blue one, like I said, but I just got a skin covering it. Okay, I forgot what they call this. It's some kind of sleeve. I forgot the name of the uh, the, the material, guys. I think it's like silicone or something. But anyways, I am going to tell you guys what I think about this portable gaming device or unit, portable console, whatever you like to call it or refer to it, uh, refer to it as. And I'm going to tell you guys the pros and cons on what I think, okay? Now, what you see is what you get in the box. These are all the contents, okay? Now, you get that gray charger to the left inside the sleeve, okay? You get the instructions. And I am going to demo it for you, turn it on for you guys, and let you guys hear it. Get a good listen to of how the speaker sounds, how loud it is. And... Uh, you know, show you guys some of the games and everything that I've downloaded, the free demos and stuff like that. But this is basically your quick start booklet. This is what the instructions look like. Simple instructions. Now, you either have the option to buy games from the store. It's kind of like the Google uh, Play Store on an Android device or uh, the Apple Store on, a, on, an Apple, on an Apple device, okay? And uh, this is just your quick start. It's like a little booklet. Of, inform of information, it just basically tells you guys, you know, how to charge it and, you know, what to do before you power it on. You do have to charge it. Charge time takes about an hour and a half to two hours, okay? Just letting you guys know. And uh, this is the back. If you need to contact customer service, there's a number right there. Okay, it comes in other languages too. All right. And I was going to tell you guys, the pro to this real quick, I want to explain to you. One of the pros, one of the big pros is that you can play Nintendo 2DS, regular Nintendo DS games, and Nintendo 3DS games. But with Nintendo 3DS games, the, the graphics basically have been modified to a sense where Nintendo 3DS games are able to be played on this Nintendo 2DS, but... The graphics are not as good, if you guys know what I'm saying. Because basically, you know, this is not as good as a 3DS, obviously. And, oh, it also plays uh, Nintendo 2DS XL games as well, right? Like I said, it's not as good as a Nintendo 3DS graphics-wise in, in regards to the, uh, to the main motherboard and all of that. It's not as technically advanced, you know what I mean? So, you can still play older games and you can play newer games, but you can't play Nintendo Switch games or the new Nintendo Switch Lite games, okay? You can't do that. Now, this was $79.99 retail price, got it from Best Buy. You can still pick these up for $79.99, I believe, maybe $69.99 to about the same price, $79.99, off of Amazon or eBay, all right? They still sell these on Amazon, I'm sure. But I got lucky finding this, and it was amazing because I grabbed it around the time of my birthday, I haven't played video games in a long time, especially portable gaming consoles like this one. And uh, I was intrigued, I was excited. I want to pick one up for myself. I'm like, you know what? I haven't played Game Boy Color, uh, PS Vita, you know, the PlayStation Vita. Any handheld gaming device I haven't played with in a long time, especially Xbox One, uh, Xbox 360. You know, I haven't played video games in years, guys. So I decided to pick one of these up from Best Buy. And I definitely do not regret it. Now, I do have cons, and I'm going to point it out real quick. I thought that I could go online and game online with it, but I can't. The online gaming feature is no longer available. So that may be a big knock on a lot of you guys, but for me, it's okay. You know, I still like to play games on it, you know, take pictures and videos, because yes, it does take pictures and videos. Now you get some AR cards right here. This is what you get inside the box, the contents, like I said at the beginning of this video. You get the instruction booklet, you get the charger in this sleeve, and obviously these come in their own sleeves too, in this little sleeve, okay? I got the other sleeve, the bag for the Nintendo 2DS underneath the Nintendo 2DS, okay? But you basically get instructions. The Nintendo 2DS itself, 
and uh, the AR cards, okay? And that's about it, it's very simple. Now here's the box up close. You guys have seen me do the unboxing, so this is the follow-up review, okay? Now the Super Mario Brothers 2 Part 2 game is actually pre-installed with the Nintendo 2DS, so you do actually get a free game with it, which is awesome. That's the hugest pro out of all the other pros, all right? But like I said, there's some cons too, and I will explain them, okay? So here's what the box looks like. All right, this is the side of it right here. Top lower left-hand corner, or left-hand corner, I should say. It's in another language. Okay, don't mind the coffee machine. Electric blue, like I said, okay? Electric blue too. All right? That's the color. Now, this is the back of the box right here. The Mushroom Kingdom is bursting with coins. Can you collect a million coins? Question mark. The best of two worlds. So these are basically the graphics right here. This is what it looks like. Okay. And it tells you what the Nintendo 2DS is all about. Now you do get all these apps in it built into it. And this is what they look like. The emojis of the apps. Okay, so you get a Me Maker. You get a Nintendo 3DS camera. A Nintendo eShop, which is where you actually go and buy all of your games and download your free demos and stuff, all right? You get Street Pass, which, you know, you meet other players online, but like I said, the Street Pass feature, along with the other feature I was talking about, you know, going online and playing against people online, it's no longer available. You get AR games. You can still play AR games, though, okay? They got this game called Face Raiders, really fun. And you get to browse the internet. But the thing with browsing the internet is, I don't think you can even browse the internet anymore because I tried it and it wasn't working. Really, really bad, but whatever, guys. I still have fun with it, it's all good. Like I said, you could still do tons of other things on it, all right? But yeah, I got some cons, and you know, those two things I mentioned are part of the cons, but I got another con too, all right? It's rated D for everybody. Once again, you have a number on the bottom for customer service, it's right there, or you can consult the website. For more questions and answers, if I cannot answer your questions and answers for you. Okay, that's about it with the box. I'm gonna try to keep this video a little shorter than 20 minutes. Try to get as much as I can for you guys in this product review. And once again, the AR cards are solely to play, you know, separate games, you know, other than what's other than what comes with the Nintendo 2DS itself, like Super Mario Brothers and all the other games that you may purchase on it or purchase from Best Buy, because Best Buy and places like Walmart and stuff, they still, you can, you can still find Nintendo 2DS games. You can find cartridges for this, uh, for this specific console. It's not exactly old, it's not old old, but once again, stores do carry stuff for Nintendo 2DS. Uh, I don't know about sleeves and everything, but they still do carry games. It just depends on where you go, like Fry's Electronics, Walmart, Target, you know, et cetera, et cetera, or Amazon. You know, go to Amazon if you can't find them in store. Now, anybody that has a Nintendo 2DS, tell me what you think about it. Tell me uh, how you felt about the experience with it, what you encounter, what you really think, because everybody's opinionated, all right? But for those that don't know anything about this, don't own one, I'm gonna show you a lot of cool stuff, and I'm gonna, like I said, explain some of the cons to you as well, because it does have cons, all right? So you get AR cards numbered A-1, all the way to A-2, A-3, 4, 5, and 6. And these are all the AR games you can play. Now, I haven't experienced all of them. I've only experienced the first two, which are right there. And it's really, really cool. I actually like A-1. It's really fun. All right. It's crazy what you can do with this thing, man. I mean, it takes pictures. You got a front-facing camera as well as two rear-facing cameras. All right. And the camera quality is not the best, but it's not the worst either, okay? It's kind of like an iPhone 4, an iPhone 5 or 5S camera. You know, it's not the best, but it's not the worst either, all right? I don't know how many megapixels it is. I don't know all that stuff because it doesn't even say it on the box, but do your research online. And uh, I'll actually do my own research online and get more information for you guys based off of graphics and everything and, you know, you know, what they run in and stuff like that, all the specifics, okay? Because I don't know all that on top of my head right now exactly, but I know most of what I know about this product, okay? Now I'm gonna turn it on for you guys, demo it, and show you guys, like I said, what it sounds like, let you guys hear it, 
I'll sample a little game for you and stuff. Well, I'll just kind of, you know, move around and stuff. I'm not going to play games. I'll just move the analog stick. You get an analog stick that goes around like this in a circle. You get the iconic classic Nintendo pad, okay, which goes up, down, left, right. All right. You get the buttons labeled Y, X, A, B. Okay. You get start, select. You get your power button, which you simply just push down and it turns on. You'll get a blue light that will be emitted. Now, this Nintendo 2DS also has a sleep mode function. And when you put it in sleep mode, it's got this thing called Activity Log, this app that actually counts your, uh, your every move. It counts your steps, basically. So this product can even be used as an exercise device, believe it or not. If you have your Nintendo 2DS in your pocket while you're going on a walk or a jog, it'll count every step that you make, which is really cool. So it has an Activity Log. That you can put your weight and height on and your gender and stuff into the app itself and uh, it, it tracks data for you and logs everything down for you and what you do from day to day you know your normal activities week to week day to day month to month year to year all right and it saves all the information for you so that's really cool too now like i said this is what it looks like the sleeve doesn't come on it i actually got this separately for 20 bucks from amazon okay there's the camera right there i was talking about nice little camera you get your opening for your light then you get another orange light on the side which is your Wi-Fi light okay you got your left and right bumpers which also act as uh, taking they also act as triggers to take pictures to take snapshots and it does emit a camera sound and there are different tones when you do take pictures you can make it sound like a cat meowing a dog barking a bird chirping I just have the standard default setting, which sounds like a camera. All right. You get your volume rocker is just a sliding rocker left to right. All the way to the left is volume up. All the way to the right is volume down. Okay. The bumpers are easy to press on, you know. There it is. And then there's your right one right here. All right. Got your charge port right up here. Kind of looks like an Android style uh, charging port. It's your AC adapter port right there. Your game cartridge, uh, cartridge slot right there at the top. You got your home button right here. My screen's just a little dirty, but. Okay. You get two little screens. Fairly good size screens. You get your mic port right here at the bottom left hand side. Your mic hole. Like I said, your speaker's right there. That's the only speaker. And it's pretty darn good. You get your sleep function, like I said, so it, when it's not in use, basically, you can just throw it in sleep mode, which is really cool, and it preserves your battery as much as possible, and it counts your steps when you have it in sleep mode. So like I said, oh, also in sleep mode, it also saves your progress on your games. It, uh, it does its, its, uh, its updates, you know, pretty much every hour to every few hours, it updates itself when it's in sleep mode. So all your apps are currently up to date and stuff like that. So it's really cool. It's got a, it's got a lot of good features about it. I love it for $79.99, 80 bucks plus taxes. You can't go wrong with this. And like I said, at the back, you have, uh, let me see. Okay, at the back, you have Nintendo 2DS. Okay, and you have two additional cameras. So you have two rear facing cameras and you have one front facing camera on the front of this portable gaming device or console whatever you like to call it. you also get a stylus okay to the bottom or middle right side of this uh, Nintendo 2DS you get a stylus it simply slides out like this excuse my fingers guys hold on okay it simply pulls out like this this way if you need to type something you need to write messages you know look for a, uh, a game in the Play Store to download or you know Download for free instead of using your fingers, which is really hard to use the stylus. Got a nice little, nice little tip right there. I forgot what they call it. It's clear. All right, but this is what it basically looks like. It's like a nice little pen or marker. All right, simply slides in like this once again and uh, snaps into place. You'll hear it go click or you'll hear it kind of snap into place. Hold up. All right. There you go. Okay. 
So you got two rear facing cameras and then you got the front one like I said. Then you got your gaming slot right here. Right. You got some openings right here just vented. Just to let it vent, I'm assuming. Or actually you can tie a, uh, what do they call those things that you put around your neck? A lanyard. Just, you know, tie it around here on each corner wherever you'd like to have it hanging from and then you can put it around your neck. Which some people do, you know? Now let me turn it on real quick, show you guys exactly how it performs. I'm going to turn it on, and I'll show you guys. So here's the start button right here. Simply just push it down for a second. Blue light's emitted, like I said. I have it on full volume. Okay, and that's what it sounds like, all right? Like I said, right up there, it counts your steps right here where my finger is pointing at, okay? Internet, and it shows you your Wi-Fi signal right there to the left. You do have to get it registered. When you do buy one of these brand new, you have to go through the process of registering it like a cell phone or a tablet. Put in your state, city, zip, all that good stuff, your age, your everything pretty much, okay? And then left and right bumpers to take pictures, to record videos. This also records videos, okay? I'm not gonna lead you through every app, but I'm already at 16 plus minutes in this video. I'm gonna try to shorten it up. Right now it's counting military time for some reason, I don't know why, but see, today's Thursday, October 24th. It's got your health and safety information, and you can tap on icons and move them around with your fingers like this, or use a stylus. You know, you got your home button to go back, and that's just to go back to the main menu from a game. All right, now you can either use this, And I don't got nothing in the game slot, so that's why it's saying that, uh, that it requires one to play games. But I got some games already downloaded. I got a Resident Evil Revelations, an awesome game. And I got a bunch of demos like Kirby and um, something with Super Mario. I, I forgot what it was. But anyways, you get music, pictures. I'm not going to go into it because I have my pictures on there. I'm not going to show you guys all that private stuff. Now you have the option, like I said, to manually tap on open or manual with your finger or with the stylus or by pressing A, okay? Now over here it tells you why to, uh, to also take pictures, to go to the picture and video menu, all right? Then you get your Me Maker, which I already have my own Me created. And like I said, the volume's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't bad at all. You got your Nintendo eShop, which like I said early on in the video or towards the middle of the video. Basically, that's where you make all your purchases. All right. I created my own little face right here. And then this is what I was talking about, where you log down your height, weight, and all that stuff. Your activity logger. If you're someone that's really active. Okay, like I said, you got an orange light right here. It may look yellow or light orange on video. It actually does look like that right now anyways. So, and it blinks every now and then. It's just your Wi-Fi light. This is your light, which is your light into your main light indicator that tells you whether your device is about to die or it's fully charged. Now when it's fully charged or at midway point, it's gonna be blue. But when it's about to die, it's gonna stay red for a while, okay? A solid red and then I think it's gonna start it may start blinking. Actually, no, it doesn't blink. It just stays solid red and then it all dies all together once it's about to die, right? Like I said, charging time is about an hour and 35, or let's just say an hour and 30 minutes to about two hours solid. Like I said, you can either use the Nintendo pad to go back and forth. And like I said, Nintendo Zone is currently discontinued. See? It's stupid. But uh, this device is still worth buying if you want to just play little games here and there, have fun, take pictures and stuff. You can't play with your friends. That's the one, that's one of the biggest cons. To that, that will basically prevent most of you from buying this. But other than that, if you really just want to have fun, play some games here and there, screw around with it, record video, it's amazing. Okay, it still is. It's good. It's worth buying. You get your download Play Store. 
Then you get your system settings to make all the adjustments with the clock and everything, okay? Resident Evil. Like I said, graphics are pretty good. Now we're at 20 minutes. I thought this video was going to be shorter, but anyways, guys, it's all good. All right. Now I got some demos right here. New Super Mario Brothers 2. Okay. That's about it. And it's very fun. Like I said, battery will last you, you know, once you're done charging it, it'll last you a good, I would assume, five to seven hours. This device will easily last you five to seven hours, okay? Of total play time, listening to music, whatever. Like I said, you got your mic hole right here. You can use uh, standard Apple earpods, the older Apple uh, iPhone 5, 6, and 7 earpods. Actually, you know, below, uh, below 8 and 7. I think it's like the older iPhone 4 and 5 ones that actually have the uh, headphone jack because you can't use the newer Apple earpods on this. But you can, use, uh, you can use other earbuds. You can plug your headphones into this, you know, three point, standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All right. Like I said, I got to download more stuff for it to pop up here. But anyways, you got your activity logger up here. You got all that other stuff home. Okay, and you make all your adjustments, do whatever you want, you know. So it's a really good gaming console. I'm not going to play a game for you, but I just want to show you how loud it was. Tell you a little bit about it in this review because it is a, an honest, candid review, product review video. Not everybody's going to love this. I like it. I enjoy it. Yes, big con is you can't go online and game with people anymore. You can't, uh, there are certain things you just can't do. But other than that, if, you, if you're willing to give yourself and give this portable gaming console a chance, I'm sure you would actually learn to enjoy it. You'll, it'll actually grow on you. And you'll actually see that, you know what, it's not that bad. Despite some of those major cons, it's still not bad for the money. So if you guys want to pick one up today, Go right ahead, $79.99, 80 bucks plus tax. Your local Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, definitely try Amazon. Uh, Fry's Electronics, maybe Target perhaps. All right, uh, a GameStop. GameStop for sure would probably have this product. Hopefully it hasn't been discontinued after I purchased it months ago, but like I said, I've had this for about two to three months and actually more than two months, about, about a good three months. And I've actually really enjoyed it in the last two to three months. So with that being said, guys, you hold the power button to turn it off. And it tells you right here, power off. You manually tap it with your finger. And then it says right here in sleep mode, the system can count your steps and collect plate coins. You street pass. Street pass is just one of its major features to do things on it. And receive various contents, re receive various content via spot pass, okay? Push the sleep switch. To the right to enter sleep mode, you will resume on the home menu, all right? So just simply turn it off, you just tap it. Takes a while to shut off and then it shuts off, right? So that's, a bit, that's about it, guys. Once again, the Nintendo 2DS colors electric blue. Hope you guys enjoyed this product review. Once again, Gorilla Bear Tech is signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves today and uh, Shout out to all of my loyal subscribers, all of my loyal supporters, I should say, because I don't really use the term subscribers anymore. My followers, the people that love me, that love this channel. Those of you that are new to this channel, please take the time to check it out if you like it. Subscribe. If you don't, you could pass. All right, guys? Thank you very much. Girl Over Tech is out.